Bonk at the Barber Shop, written by Maribeth Boltz, illustrated by Nora Vudis. Bonk is growing. His slippers are too small. His bed is too short. Even his fur is growing. It hangs in his eyes. It flops on his shoulders. You need a haircut, Bonk, says Jupe. No, I don't, says Bonk. Look what I will do instead, he says. Bonk makes a ponytail with his fur. It sticks straight up. My fur is out of my eyes now, says Bonk. Then Bonk looks in the mirror. Maybe there is a better idea, he says. Bonk puts his head on the floor. He puts his feet in the air. I can stand on my head, he says. That will keep the hair out of my eyes, he says. Bonk stands on his head until it hurts. Want to go for a bike ride, Bonk? Jupe asks. We could ride to the barber shop. The park would be more fun, says Bonk. Bonk straps on his helmet and his backpack. I can still see a little bit, says Bonk. He starts to pedal and does not see the bump in the road. Watch out, Bonk, says Jupe. Crash! Bonk falls off his bike and skins his knee. Jupe has her first aid kit. She puts a bandage on Bonk's knee. Jupe, says Bonk. I think I need a haircut. I will go with you, says Jupe. Bonk and Jupe ride to the monster barber shop. They look through a book that shows different haircuts. They see curly haircuts. They see spiked haircuts. They see shaved haircuts. Which haircut do you like best? asks Jupe. Bonk thinks and thinks. Then he pulls out a picture from his backpack. He shows it to Uzzle. I think this is the haircut I like best, he says. The one you've always had? says Jupe. The one I've always had, says Bonk. It is Bonk's turn for a haircut. He climbs up on the chair. The barber cuts and cuts. Soon there is a pile of fur on the floor. Now Bonk does not need a ponytail. He does not need to stand on his head. Getting a haircut was a good idea, Jupe, Bonk says. I'm glad I thought of it.